Hey guys, what is up? Quackery here. I just decided to give you guys one more tutorial that kind of encompasses um, the previous like three or four topics that we've been talking about. Um, and we'll just do this as like kind of like an exercise tutorial. Not um, we won't really be learning anything new, but we'll kind of be like going over see how these different like uh, things kind of mesh together. So uh, as you can see, I've just written the simple main statement, and let me just close stuff and I have this in.txt file which just contains I think it's about 500 integers uh, in between uh, 0 and 100 or I think it's 1 and 100 um, just randomly generated so what we're gonna do is I thought it would be cool if we could write a program that reads in this in.txt file uh, basically one number at a time and we try and count how many times there's an occurrence of like a certain number so what we're gonna be using uh, I guess we could use standard in when we read in the number. We could also use like our input file stream uh, to do that. And I don't know if we can somehow incorporate vectors in this, but uh, I guess we could see uh, see what we can find. Um, we can maybe add some stuff later. But uh, let's get on with the basics. Let's include a stream. We don't need to include string this time because I think we'll just be using integers in this one. Uh, let's include fstream. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. What are we going to be doing first? We are going to be, let's just have a while true statement here. which just means that um, basically uh, it's going to run forever until we just forcefully close it. Just allows them to uh, read in, basically enter in as many numbers as they want. Um, so uh, what, what's gonna, or, sorry. So what's gonna happen is we're first gonna read in basically all these integers from that input file. So if you remember how to do that, we do in. Let's do in dot text, and then um, make sure to do using a namespace standard, so we don't have to do standard colon colon. Um, so we want to be able to only read in this file once and we don't want to continue to read it every single time we want to check to see how much there's occurrence of a certain character so that's where I think a vector is going to come in so let's go ahead and just include this vector here and we're going to be using the same strategy from our previous tutorial to not read like a line in at a time but instead read in say like one separated uh, string or number in at a time uh, this time we know it's numbers, so we can basically have an int, uh, let's do red number, or read number, or whatever. And what we're going to be doing is we'll do while, um, let's see, what was it again? I think it was in, so I'm forgetting something for a second. Let's go ahead and check this other thing that we wrote. Well, okay, there we go. While in, I always forget like the way that this these things go. I mean, I've been doing this a lot, but I always still f forget that. So while we're reading into in number, uh, so now, or while we're reading into red number, uh, we're going to store this in a vector so that we can continually to check how many occurrences of a certain um, integer that we have. And for those of you who don't know integers, it just stores a number that uh, is rounded. Um, again, we'll be going over some data types in some later tutorials. So let's go ahead and create our vector. Uh, let's just do a vector of int. Remember last time we had a string, but this time we're storing some of these guys over here. So that's why we do vector int. And let's do um, number vector. I don't know. I'm not very creative with my names. Um, so while we're reading red number, let's go ahead and push that back. Remember that was the way we added something in. And let's add in red number. Okay. So this will execute until we've actually finished reading that in. And let's go ahead and do like a little sanity check kind of thing. And we'll do, this should probably print out 500 unless I managed to copy it wrong from the website. Um, the number of uh, numbers in this file is, and we'll do number vector size. So that should hopefully print out 500. And then let's go ahead and give these people a prompt. Please enter occurrences of. And we're not going to do end line this time, just because we want to kind of have it as like a prompt. And I misspelled, of course. OK, um, so now we are going to be using the cn 
um, basically to have student user number and we'll have CN user number so it's going from CN is storing it into user number pretty sure I did it right that time so now what we're going to be doing is we're also going to have a counter because we need to count how many times this occurred so for this remember this for loop which I guess I didn't really go over last time but uh, you can probably just copy it right now until we uh, really go over it, unless of course you already know how to use it vector dot size I guess I'll explain it a little bit so what this is basically doing is it's going through each of the items in this vector using this uh, iterator not really iterator but incrementer I and it allows us to basically do something like this where we can access the ith element. Um, so say the first time this is run, we're going to access whatever stored at 0, which is going to be 23. The second time we're going to store at 1, blah, 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 all the way up to size, which is 500. So that'll get the very last one. So basically, it's a way to iterate through all the different um, ones in there. So what do we have to do? We have to make check to see if this user number that, we, that the users provided us equals this one that's stored in this vector. And if this returns true if those numbers are the same. And if the numbers are the same, of course we want to count it. So we're going to do counter plus plus. And that's basically saying counter equals counter plus one. That, that's the same thing. That's just like a uh, postfix op, uh, incrementing operator. Um, pretty sure that was right. But anyway, so after this counter has been incremented, let's move this in here or else we're going to get some issues. Um, we are going to see out, uh, let's see, okay, um, this number, and let's print the number that the users provided, has occurred counter many times. And then we'll do end line. So again, we are reading through it. We are iterating through these vector, the vector of integers that we previously read in from uh, this file. And we are checking it with this user provided number. And then we are printing out this user provider number has occurred blank many times. So let's go ahead and build, see if I got everything working right. Looks like I did. Let's go ahead and run it, see if it works. Okay, the number of numbers in this file is 500. Awesome. So it looks like we actually did have 500. Let's see how many times 100. So this number, 100, has occurred six many, that doesn't make any six, six many times. It should be six times. But anyway, it looks like it's worked pretty well. I'm just going to rebuild it just so I can get this pretty output. Um, let's see, build has occurred blah, blah, blah times. Run. All right, what's the error? What did I max? Hmm, 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 hmm. Permission denied. All right, it might be uh, that my fire, or not my firewall, but my antivirus is kind of messing up uh, with me because it doesn't like when I have all these executables running. All right, looks like it built. All right, we're just going to continue with launch. All right, <laughs> so anyway, you can do 100, and it's going to be using the previous one. But anyway, uh, looks like this worked anyway. It occurs six times, and we can continue to do it because we're in this while true loop. So if we do like one, the one has occurred three times. Sorry for this output, that's kind of ugly. But you can pretty much get like the idea. We can count how many times this has occurred um, in the entire thing. We can even count it like this just to make sure we're right. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like it occurred six. Hundred has occurred six many times. Cool. Looks like our thing's working. But yeah, that's another real simple program that you can write. Uh, where we combined, let's see, our basic input output that we learned about and more about streams. We had reading file that we learned in tutorial three. And we had some basic vector information that we learned in uh, tutorial four. So that's kind of like a little exercise that combines all these different aspects into one nice little tutorial. And that's it for uh, now. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that YouTube junk, and uh, watch the rest of these tutorials on my playlist, yo. Uh, anyway, it's Quackworth signing out.